Good morning. It is the last Sunday in August. It's the bank holiday weekend and it's a very special day. So I'm going to film a little vlog over the next couple of days because today is the day we are getting chickens. We are first time chicken owners. We've got three chickens that we're picking up from a farm just down the road in Kent where we live uh, this afternoon. We've got everything ready, which I shall show you in a minute, or almost ready, I should say, but I will explain our setup for our chickens in our back garden. We have a very small back garden. We've done a lot of research on this and I will show you how we've got it all set up. Uh, and we're going to drive down to get the chickens later on. Right now I've got to go and do the shopping though, because we're going to have fajitas for dinner later. So I need to go and get the ingredients for that, because even though it's an exciting day and the chickens are arriving, we still need to eat dinner. <laughs> so I'm going to go and do that now. And whilst I do that, I'm going to show you a little bit of um, footage that I took um, earlier in the month where Phoebe and I went for a little wander over to our local heathland to look for a stick and all will be explained in the next bit of footage. Look at all this heather, it's amazing. I so think. you can hear the roar of the A2, which we've just walked over, that which is um, a sound you can't escape over here on the heath. And we're gonna go through this overgrown bit here into the woodland, yeah. where hopefully we will find our chicken sticks. I filmed me getting it. You filmed you getting it. So I'm at my, my house, there's some people over there, my mum's talking to them. They climbed up a tree to find a geocache. Anyways, I ain't going in my house. So I'm looking here for a stick. This one, here. That's quite good, I think. I'm going to get this one and see what mum thinks of it. So we are here in the woodland and next to the A2 and it just so happens that there are two ladies there who are climbing a tree with proper climbing equipment because they there's a climbing geocache just here which we've never got because we we don't it's very high but they've got all ropes and everything and they just went and got it so that was really good and I found got our first stick. stick and I filmed some footage so mum has hopefully put that in hopefully I have wow Phoebe just spotted the most amazing mushroom. Autumn is truly just around the corner if we're seeing mushrooms. So exciting. We've got one stick, which is perfect, but we haven't found any that Phoebe has deemed suitable other than this one. So we're gonna continue through this path here behind me and do a bit of a circular walk and see if we can find any more. But we'll be going on lots of autumn walks, so I'm sure that we have plenty of opportunity to find more. Look at that. <laughs> Well, I need to, I would say, balance it up towards that end for perching on. Okay. Not in the way of anything there, is it? No, and they can fit through there, they can fit through there, they can... No? Yeah. Yeah. 
this is a lot of stuff. Yep. So we are clearing out what I like to call the spider shed. So we have these two outbuildings. Oh, it's just started raining. We have these two outbuildings. This would have been the toilet and this would have been the coal shed. So this is the spider shed where all the spiders live. It's a complete and utter mess. And we're gonna clear it out today. It's also where the boiler is. Boiler's in here, let's see. Uh, and we're going to clear it out because we need a space, a nice dry space away from things to keep the and chicken there's, feed. There's probably a ghost in here because it's a Victorian house. Yes, there's and definitely a ghost buildings. in there, Phoebes. Rain stopped play a bit, although we made good progress. We got rid of lots. This is all neat and tidy now long may it stay that way got all our paint organized up there this little guy is a nodding tortoise but he's made of coconut shell and he doesn't like getting wet because he goes all mushy so he's hiding in here exciting okay i'm doing a really good job so with the chickens, we want to keep them healthy and happy. So we're going to line the bottom of the chicken coop with wood chips. And we're building a frame to go around the outside of the coop to keep all the wood chips in place. Yesterday we also painted the wood and the colour was seasoned oak. Is that really so, no, 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 no. You can't store this stuff in there anymore. At the back of our coop, it was all muddy and weedy. So we put down some weed membrane and some gravel and a little stepping stone so that we don't get all muddy when we come out to do the back of the coop. Phoebe's about to put some bedding in the nesting area. So we've got our chicken feed in our brand new galvanised bin. That'll keep it safe from things. In, it's all locked up in the out building. There's their food, we're gonna go and put that in their run. So Phoebe's just going to put their feed in there, she's just going to open up the run. So this is their setup. Um, we've got them in a permanent position because we don't have a big enough lawn to move them about. So Dan has built this um, frame all around it and there's going to be hardwood, oh, it's a bit windy, sorry. There's going to be hardwood um, chips in there that's going to coat the entire bottom of the run which will be nice and safe and healthy for them. The hardwood chips have not arrived, of course, because there's all kinds of problems of DPD due to COVID. Um, but they'll be all right on mud for the next few days because it's not going to rain or anything like that. And Phoebe's going to put the water in. We're also going to put some grit in. I so the bowl is so cute. I picked it out for ketchup. It has ladybirds in it. <laughs> We're just going to pop it in a little bowl yeah. in their run. And we got this at the pet shop. It's actually a dog bowl, but it's got ladybirds. I know, but it's so cute and it's perfect for their grit. <laughs> Right, let's put some in, Mum. We're going to scatter some on the floor as well to, for their natural pecking. We'll do that when um, we have the wood chips. We can do it now. Okay. We can put some in there. Are you going to cut out the water? No. Let our right to talk because chickens drink a lot. There. <laughs> so this is an igloo go, go up, up for Momlet. Not the go, the go up. So they've got all this space under here. And then they've got a two metre run. We do have a sunshade for it, but it's not sunny today. And we're actually going to put a cover on it as well, but we're going to get some clear. We've got an old shower curtain for now, but we're going to get some clear tarpaulin eventually. So the water's going in and if you can see, there's a stick in there. And that's the stick we collected that you would have seen in the footage earlier on. My sister recommended um, popping a stick in there just for perching and things. Oh. 
some ducks the, in there somewhere. The fluffy ones. Good ducks on then. Oh, I can see one under the tree. <laughs> They're all shaded. Oh. <laughs> They're all coming over. <laughs> What's happening? Yeah, we're well, in the box and you're shut down. Yeah. Oh. It's alright. <laughs> what have you got in the box, Phoebe? We were going to choose them, but Phoebe couldn't bring I herself to choose time. them out of all of them. So the man, he just came and he just randomly grabbed some, didn't he? The black tail, not the black tail, the speckled man is like worry you'll be home soon and safe you'll be home and safe i think you might be peggy soon Wait for me. here they are Okay, mum's here and we're just getting dinner ready and the chickens are acclimatised. We've left them alone for a bit and they seem quite happy bop bopping about and picking at the ground and eating by the looks of it. I'm just having a look to see what they're doing. Um, so we're waiting to see if they might naturally put themselves into their coop at dusk. If not, we shall pop a torch in there when it's a bit dark to try and attract them. But uh, we'll see how that goes later. So we're having homemade fajitas tonight. So I've just made some lovely homemade guacamole and lovely homemade salsa. And I've got all the chicken on one tray in the oven and the corn on another tray in the oven. We normally buy packet stuff, but I really don't like it. So I decided to make my own. Um, yeah, so we're going to have that for our dinner and then more chicken shenanigans to follow. about half past seven we've had our fajitas they were lovely i'll put the link to the recipe which was a jamie oliver recipe from his website which i think was adapted from one of his books but i'll put the link to that recipe which includes the salsa and the guacamole and everything underneath just in case you're interested because it was very nice and um, it's free and the chickens are still bock bocking about in the garden so we're kind of waiting to see if they might naturally put themselves to bed dusk will be about half past eight so here are the girls that's hey hey say hi to everyone hey hey she likes to stand on the stick you can stand on it for us no okay so that one right there the quite unique looking one is Peggy, Peggy Sue. And this one here, you're very pretty aren't you Cloud? It's Cloud, she's my chicken. Hey Cloud! And in there is a house. They haven't yet gone up there. Hey Hey's been looking up there a lot. And they've been eating their food, they've been drinking their water been pecking at their grit and yeah we've been feeding them some treats 
and trying to get them to come to us. They're still a bit scared, but they're not too scared, which is good because they've only been here like five hours. And I really love them, and I think they're awesome. It took a bit of doing, but all three of them got themselves in there. And we've closed the door, so they're all happy and secure. I wonder what time they'll get up in the morning. I'm so tired. I got up at about quarter to six, but I woke up at half past five um, because I woke up thinking, I don't know, just woke up in a panic about chickens. I thought maybe they're in the garden making a racket. They weren't, of course. They were still completely silent when I went out to check on them at about six so I left them. We went out at seven and they were still completely silent so we just filled up their water, put out some fresh food, scattered some grit and then let them out at about ten past quarter past seven and we opened the door they're all just sitting there quite happy and awake and now they're just having a gentle little peck about. There was a little bit of bock bocking when they discovered the food. But they seem quite happy. They seem to have had a good first night. I need more tea. And I think the theme of today is going to be tea. <laughs> it's feeling quite autumnal at the moment. The maximum temperature today, let me just get into a bit of a better angle. I was here because I want to talk about what's going on here behind me. So take note of that. <laughs> Yes, I'm gonna change up my mantelpiece, which you just saw here. That is my sort of, uh, it was supposed to be my spring display, but it's kind of uh, stayed there throughout summer. Um, it's just some fake flowers. I can't really have real flowers in the house because um, they really make Lydia sneeze. I'm gonna change it for something a bit more autumnal because it's definitely been a shift in the weather um, this past sort of week. It's, the temperatures have definitely dropped, the nights are drawing in, and the temperatures are a lot lower and I'm very excited. I am 100% an autumn enthusiast. I struggle hugely with my mental health in the summer months. So um, it feels really nice to be moving away from those. And I know that a lot of you struggle moving into the autumn and winter months. So stick with me, hopefully. I might be able to share some of my enthusiasm for those months with you over the coming um, weeks, uh, coming seasons. I am just making some pasta sauce. We're just having a simple pasta and salad for our dinner tonight. Uh, and it's really easy to make. I've shown how I do this before. And I need something nice and simple, given how long I've been up. I'm very, very tired at this point. And see the chickens out in the garden behind you? They are, uh, they're very sort of subdued, I would say. They're probably feeling a little bit unsettled and wondering what the hell has happened. One minute they're sort of with a hundred other chickens roaming about deep in Kent and the next minute they're just the three of them together in their very well appointed but much smaller space where they've got to stay just to get acclimatised and then we'll let them roam around the garden when we're when we're about obviously. Uh, the cat is outside making use of the little cosy area on the outdoor sofa that the girls made 
Um, Phoebe's got a friend around there just playing in the living room. And yeah, a bit of cooking. I've done. I've finished a pair of socks. Kitchen of the toes. Got those um, blocked. Uh, so it's been quite an autumnal day. I'm looking forward to lighting my candles in the living room later, and I'm probably going to have a nice hot bath, which I seem to say all the time on these vlogs. Uh, yeah, so I w I'm not going to finish this vlog properly until we've got an egg to show you. So I'll probably finish this vlog. I'm going to finish it today. It's just a little two-day vlog. I won't sort of finish the edit until I've got an egg to film. Hopefully. <laughs> it's hard to make promises about things you have no control over. So fingers crossed that works out for me. But thank you so much for watching this first little chicken adventure and this couple of days in our lives. And thank you, as ever, for your just your lovely comments and your friendship and for just being there watching i'm so glad that you enjoy these little insights into our little ordinary life our little wonderful life <laughs>